Facebook, I'm so sorry, and YouTube. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You see, the mixer was trying to be a destiny killer this morning. Oh, those of you on, 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 on TikTok, you are so blessed. Amen. I'm very sorry. Facebook and YouTube, I did not see that my audio levels are not going up, but don't worry. If we have to do it again for you, we will do it again. But we continue for now. If you have missed up, missed anything, I will make sure that there is a broadcast that will be put up on YouTube and we can continue and we can restart from where you lost off. Hallelujah. Somebody's laughing. Who is that laughing? Ah, 316 Live. You look at my moderators. They are laughing at me that I've been talking like this and there was no sound on, on, on Facebook and YouTube. Now, nevertheless, where are we, children of God? Facebook and YouTube, we are talking about destiny helpers and destiny killers. We are activating this morning our destiny helpers. Yesterday, we saw the help of God coming to our aid. This morning, we are looking for our destiny helpers. They must arise from wherever they are because God works through a man. Men, and God works through the angels. We want our angels and the men that God has set aside for us to come to pass. Your wife is your destiny helper. Your husband is your destiny helper. I don't know where your wife is. You need to go hunt them down and make sure they come and be a help me that God has set aside for you. I don't know where your husband is, but you need to pray for them and say, you, to the extent you are my destiny helper, come and find me. Come and hunt. Stop being lazy from wherever you are. Anybody who is holding your goods, this morning. They must bring it to pass. They must come and wake up. And if they are going to be lazy and they are refusing and they are stubborn to become your destiny helper, we squash them, we obliterate them, we annihilate them, we raise new destiny helpers. The Lord shall raise new destiny helpers for you. So, so far what you have missed, we have recaptured what is destiny. Destiny is what God has created you to be. It is the divine purpose from the maker for you. It is your, your assignment on earth. It is what has God has predetermined that it will come to pass. It is the purpose and plan of God for your life. It is the blueprint that God has set aside for you. It is the natural cause of events that will unfold because there is no devil that can stop it. They can manipulate the time in which it will come to pass. But God is saying this morning, your destiny helpers are being awakened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we are now at the place where we are talking about who are these destiny helpers and what do they do? Destiny helpers have to connect us to the top level because definitely we are not meant for the mediocre life. We are not meant to be non-entities. We are not meant to be insignificant. We are not meant to be inferior. We are not meant to be abused. We are meant to shine. For us to shine, it means that we cannot sink into mental depression, into mental ill health. But God wants us to show forth the glory that is in him. We are meant to move in the cabot of God. Talk to me, somebody. Therefore, it means that I cannot be hidden. If you are in a relationship, let me talk to somebody right now. You cannot be hidden. You are not a secret. Talk to me, somebody. Make sure you are following the host. Make sure you are tapping on that screen. Make sure you are typing that amen louder. As you type it, as you type that declaration, if you type that amen, so shall it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are these destiny helpers, child of God, and what do they do? They facilitate your destiny. These are people that need to facilitate your destiny. That is why we need to talk to even these applications we are sending, these tenders that we are lodging in different government departments. That is why we need to talk to them that say, listen, whoever is holding my documents, whoever is is holding my visa. God, Shonda, you will shine today, Miss Boo. God, whoever is holding my CV application for that job, Father, let them facilitate my destiny. If your career is in that destiny, God will facilitate it through that person. Who are these destiny helpers, Fortune? These are people who add value to us. Anytime you see anybody not adding value, they are decreasing you, they are making you very sad, you are negative, you just want to check out. That person is not adding value to you. You need to examine them. You need to put on your goggles that I'm giving you this morning that will check out whether are you my destiny helper? Are you my destiny killer? Some people need to be checked out of your life. Talk to me. Who are these destiny helpers? These destiny helpers are those people that have been put strategically positioned to help you and so that you will arrive at your expected end. So the problem, the challenge becomes when you don't know what is the expectation you have. If you don't have the expectation, you don't know what is the expected end. You don't know what is the expected destination where you are going. So, but there is a destiny helper that has been positioned to help you get to your expectation 
expect an end. Who is this destiny helper, Fortune? These are destiny helpers who will go out of their way to help you. I don't know whether you've got the right friends in your circle. There are people that will go out of their way to help you. They will even sacrifice their own salaries. They will even sacrifice their food in the house to share with you when you are without. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Some people, are we are yoked with people that don't even help us. They don't add value. They can't even sacrifice anything for us. They can't even babysit for you. I don't even know why I'm saying that. But this is not for me. I don't have children that needs to be babysitted. But I, I want to tell you today. God has somebody who is positioned you to help you to get your expected end. May you receive the help. That person that is holding that money that will bless you to get to your interview. God is releasing that person. That person is positioned. You just need to say, God, open my eyes. Let me identify my destiny helpers. These are the people who are going to help you navigate through the obstacles of life. They help you. Even when you are sitting down with this person, when they're advising you, they are giving you direction. They help you navigate through the obstacles of life. They are the people who will help your ministry. These are the people that will help your career. These are the people who will help your family and business. These are the people who open doors and take in your children when you are not going, when you are going through the most in your life. They will make sure they open doors. Some of you, there's somebody who's listening to me. You are believing your children to go to a, a foreign country to further their studies. The Lord says he's opening doors and he will position a family that will take in your children and that they will be able to be assisted and they will bring a better life in their family in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up my eyes, Lord, to identify my destiny helpers. My destiny helper arise. Type it in that comment section. Oh, who are these destiny helpers? They remove barriers for you. Definitely, there will be barriers that be uh, that have been set up, whether by the enemy or naturally they are there. But there are people that God is going to use that they remove the barriers that are there for you. Those people that will guide you. Talk to me. These are people who will help fight for you on behalf on your behalf. They will fight your battles as if they are own. Do you know what it means? to have a man or a woman or a friend, even your husband who will fight for you. There are people who are suffering profusely because they are being attacked by their in-laws and you find that this, the other spouse does not speak for their other spouse and you find that the other in-laws want to bring you down and they are talking against your wife or they are talking against your husband. Arise for goodness sake. If you are my partner, talk on my behalf and fight that battle for me. You know that there is no cause. There is no cause for you to be brought down as a woman or as a man in that relationship. Marriage is two people plus God. Nobody else. You do not allow your, your family members to bring down your spouse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do not, if you are a friend to me, don't allow people to gossip about me to bring me down. You are my destiny helper. Speak on my behalf. Stop every gossip in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a destiny helper that has been positioned in your office that will speak for you, that will make sure that your name is mentioned to your supervisor, to your manager, to your to the CEO. Your promotion will work through these destiny helpers. That is why we cannot afford to sleep on the job. We have to make sure that these destiny helpers are activated. We have to make sure that the mechanics of them rolling on, they are activated in the mighty name of Jesus. Who are these destiny helpers? Helpers. These are people who will use their network to open up the opportunities that are there outside for you. There are people who know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. If they need to drop a name, they will do it. We need people who are connected. Look at your cell phone today after this broadcast. Check your, scroll through your numbers. Check whether you've got the right contact. Some of us have got more than 1,000 people as the names in our contact, but those people are adding no value in, the, in our lives. They will not open any door for you. My destiny helper arise. Hallelujah. That is why when you look at it, sometimes you are starting business and you thought that the people in your phone book are the ones that are going to patronize your business, but not so. They don't want to patronize your business. Don't even look at family to patronize your business. If you have your family members that are patronizing your business, all well and good. God bless you. Hallelujah. We thank God for those. But sometimes you've got these cousins that are just complacent, that are just lazy. They don't want to patronize your business. You've got friends that have never bought any anything from you. in Since you started your business, they have never bought your services. They've never bought your, your product, anything. Why are you there? Why are you my friend? If you are looking at me and you see that I'm going through a challenging time, ask that person, look at that person on that phone book and you say, why are you here? 
My father, my father, every person in my phone book that is useless, let them delete themselves. Let them block themselves from my, my, my network. In the name of Jesus, we need people who will open networks for us. In the name of Jesus, we need helpers who are positioned by God to make our way smooth, to help us. If When God says, I will make your path uh, straight, I will make the crooked places straight, I will, I, will, I will order your steps. What is God doing? God is positioning helpers, helpers of destiny. Talk to me, somebody. Can you shout that amen? Well, this prayer point, I want us to pray. Wherever you are, my father, my father, everyone who has been ordained for me, to make my journey smooth. Let them appear in the name of Jesus. I say it again, my father, my father, everyone who has been ordained for me to make my journey smooth, let them appear in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree my destiny helper who was meant to make my way smoother appear now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to appear now. You have been ordained to make my path smoother in the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot be sleeping on the job. You have been ordained to help me in in the name of Jesus, tell them to appear. Come on, declare, command them to appear. Appear, 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 appear. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They are ordained to assist you. They must appear. I said, type that word, appear. Appear wherever you are. They share their experiences to you. They, they, they with you. They share their scars. Who is my destiny helper? Somebody who will sit down with me and share their experience so that I don't have to go through the same experience, so that I don't have to fall into the same pit, so that I don't have to make the same mistake, so that I don't have to date the same dragon that they dated. dated. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. They are the people who are not afraid to be authentic, to open up their hearts and share their scars with me so that I don't have to go through the same. I don't have to go through the same injury. There are other injuries I may go through, but if you share your scars with me and how you overcame them and how you were healed from those wounds. I'm able to move forward with speed. And when I move out with speed, I am definitely going to remember where I come from. Oh, I was touched so much. Last week, somebody said, Pastor Fortune, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I said, what's happening? This today, this week, they sent me a, 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 a graduation celebration in, invitation to a gala. And they said, you have touched my life in such a significant way. I need you to come and speak and tell them where I come from. This was even before I was even a pastor. I did not know that I was making a difference in this person. And God used me as a destiny helper. He says, the people that know me now, they know me in my big stature as a big person in government, but they don't know who was the one pushing me. Ah, where is my destiny helper? Somebody say, my destiny helper arise. I need a destiny helper who will come and share wisdom with me. These are the people who will share their wisdom. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Rachel Johnson, we need those people. Let them come share their experiences, their scars, and their wisdom with us. Talk to me, somebody. These are people who are going to make sure that they, are, they, 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 they don't want us to be a sorry case. They want us to be a glory case. Talk to me, somebody. My destiny destiny helper, you will not forget me. My destiny helper, you will not forget me today. My destiny helper, you will not forget me today. My destiny helper, you will not forget me today. Give me counsel that I need. Guide me where I need to go. Be an active GPS that God has ordained you to be. Talk to me, somebody. There is a challenge that I want us to deal with. Some people don't take their destiny helpers seriously. They, they just think they are just talking to casual people. Be very careful. There are people who are sent by God. May God give you the discernment of spirit to know that you are going to be cancelled or this is the good counsel of God and you follow it. Don't ignore them. Take them seriously. Talk to me somebody. Destiny helpers will save you to, from the pain that you would have gone through. So stop thinking or saying, let me go through it myself. No, 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 no. 
Let me correct this thing. I have heard women who say, if others have gotten married and I'm just going to go through it for the sake of going through it. When you are seeing that you are already dating a gorilla now, who's already beating you now, what makes you think you are going to panel beat them and they're going to change in marriage? If you see the red flags before you get married, do not go there. If somebody has told you that these are the patterns of narcissistic people, these are the patterns of people that will beat you. These are the pattern of somebody who's abusive. What experience do you want to go get yourself? Have you not seen the evidence from your friends already? Why do you want to go there? Mm. Who are my destiny helpers? Thank you so much, Miss Boo. These are the people that will make sure that I become an improved version of myself. Either they take me from version 1.0 to 2.0, or they remove the versions completely and put in a new operating system. I need helpers of destiny who will come and give me a new improved version. Improved version. Improve me, my destiny helper, in the name of Jesus. Some of your destiny helpers are your parents, but because you thought you are too clever, you are busy listening to your peers. There are certain advices that my mother gave me that I was thinking that I was so cool. But now, in 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 hindsight, when I reflect back, I now remember. Hmm. Rasha Johnson says, anything blocking or stopping my destiny helper from locating me? By fire. Die now. It must burn. Anything that is blocking your destiny helper, it must burn in the name of Jesus. Destiny helpers are the tools that God will use to manifest his plans for you. My plans will manifest. Type that in the comment section. I need you to be more active. Guys, I need you to take this life to 10,000. Mara Official, what are you doing? Are you there? Are you there? Facebook, are you there? YouTube, are you there? Come on. My destiny helper arise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not miss your destiny helpers on this earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Child of God, if you miss your destiny helper, it may be so destructive. Hallelujah. It will take the grace of God for you to be successful in what he has set out to be. So be careful with the way you treat your destiny helper. Be careful with the way you treat people that you think are insignificant. Be careful with the way you treat the gate man. Be careful with the way you treat your domestic worker. You don't know whether that is the person that is going to open the door for you. So make sure that your character is in check. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes because of our character, we mess up. We mess up because some people have got bad character. Your bad personality can destroy your destiny helper that God has set aside for you. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Misbehaving. People misbehave. You misbehave to your destiny helper. That thing can chase them away. So we need to check ourselves. Hallelujah. One thing that I know is that God, till today, he's still sending destiny helpers to us. But because of ignorance, many believers miss it. Many believers have chased away their destiny helper because you are looking for the person with the suit. Hallelujah. One of my mentors in ministry said he was working in his church and he's got a massive church. I'm talking like people more than more than five million, I, I think, in his congregation. Hallelujah. And and somebody came and said, I'm looking for the general overseer. And when he said, I'm looking for the general overseer, he says, I was just there because of my stature, because I'm small. That, that person overlooked me. He says, oh, he says, uh, what do you want me to say? Let me go communicate it to my, my GO. And the person said, listen, I'm not here to talk to you. I don't talk to low people. I want to talk to the general overseer. And you know what he did? He drove out of his car and he left because he said, oh, if I'm too small, if I look insignificant, May you not be that person who ill treats people because you are pompous, because you are a snob and you miss your destiny helper. Talk to me, somebody. Job 29 verse 15 to 16, he says, I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame, was I to the lame. I was a father to the poor and the cause which I knew not, I searched out. Hallelujah. So there are people in this world that can't get their bearings right. Some are confused. Some don't know what to do with their lives. It's a sign that they need destiny helpers. They need people who will become a light. They need people who will be their feet. Hallelujah. So a characteristic of a destiny helper is somebody who is the eyes to the blind. Somebody who will be feet to the lame. Where you cannot get to, that person will get to them. And you people who are destiny killers, stop collecting CVs of people and saying you are going to help them look for jobs and you are sitting with that CV in your inbox. I said something right there. I need you to know, child of God, there are people you have asked for help. They are not even helping you. 
There are people you've asked them to pray for you. They are not helping you. They are not praying. They are sleeping. They are eating ice cream and they are watching Netflix and they are going to bed. So you must determine in your mind that you are going to rise and shine and come to these prayers and come and break protocols yourself. Take your destiny into your own hands. Stop subscribing and delegating prayers. Stop, stop delegating your future. You are thinking people are running around. They, amongst that sending out, yes, there is somebody, there is a destiny helper who will make sure that your CV comes to the right place. But there are those that will not do it. May the Lord help you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Rabbi Shikanda. Can I get a charger on this phone, please? Oh, Jesus. You will get a destiny helper who will search out the things that when you aren't away, destiny, you know, they will search out those things that will make sure that you get noticed, you get, you get recognized. Hallelujah. They will lift you up when you are down. May God give you a destiny helper that will lift you up when you are down in the name of Jesus Christ. May God give you a destiny helper that will correct you when you are going the wrong way. Hallelujah. May God give you a, a destiny helper that will make sure that you are not going your wrong way you will not miss your way because your destiny helper will be in position in the mighty name of jesus christ don't be that kind of person that does not want to be corrected hallelujah don't be that person be be teachable have a teachable spirit be correctable okay i'm getting to the point of prayers now i was just checking my time so children of God, the, the, the issue of destiny helpers is a sensitive one. Hallelujah. Many people in the world today are struggling because they don't have their right destiny helpers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they don't have, they're struggling. They sacrifice their destiny on the altars of trial and error because you want to make the same mistakes yourself direct. You want to go through trials. This altar that you have encountered this morning, today, destiny helpers must arise. Father, I lay down my, correct, my, my mistakes. Correct me. Let my destiny helper step up and correct me. And let me discern the correct destiny helper that will move me forward. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Gundo, you will manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Destiny helpers will give you the right counsel if you follow it. Hallelujah. They will help you and lead you to your manifestation. Type, I will manifest. I will manifest. I will manifest. In the name of Jesus. Orakoshakata. Mm. If the one who has created you, child of God, says he wants you to do something and you do another thing, you cannot become that thing that he has set aside for you. I hope you heard that counsel. If God has created you to become something and you decide you are going to do the opposite, you are not going to fulfill purpose. But that is not going to be your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. So if the destiny helpers come to help you fulfill what God has set out for you to do, then you will definitely achieve it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, in, in, in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, Joseph, while he was in prison, he looked at the eyes of the chief butler. He, used at the, he looked at the eyes of the chief baker. He noticed that they were downcast and he helped them where is your helper if joseph could help people who are downcasted he helped them to solve their burden into fulfillment of their destiny help me destiny helper somebody type it my destiny help my helper arise 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 they must help you to come into fulfillment in the name of jesus christ hallelujah even him himself, Joseph, needed the help at some point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, shakati karaba. How am I doing for time? Makore abasunda. The Shunammite woman told her husband that she perceived Elijah was a man of God. They beefed up their hospitality in their house to make sure that they were going to look after the prophet. Hallelujah. And the, the promises of God for a child came to pass because they chose to help Elijah. Where are your helpers of destiny? My destiny helper arise. Hallelujah. By their act of hospitality. Some of you, when somebody st stands at your gate and says they're asking for water, we don't have water. You don't even want to talk to beggars. You pass beggars every single day. You don't know whether that person is a destiny helper. That car guard in your shopping complex might be your destiny helper. Somebody might be looking at you and wanting to know who is that person. And that person will give you a reference. Your character references will not come up from your people in the, in the high jobs only it can come up from somebody that you didn't think of hallelujah hallelujah so some people have lost their destiny helpers because of their pride don't allow pride to to to, to kill you don't allow pride to bring you down 
Hallelujah. You will not miss your destiny. Hallelujah. You must be sensitive to the people you are dealing with in the name of Jesus. Thank you for those who are following the host. Hallelujah. Make sure you are following the host in all platforms. Make sure you are subscribing on YouTube as well. Please turn on the notification bells and make sure you are clicking like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How am I doing for time? Should I start on destiny killers today? Or can we pray? Fire. Destiny helpers must arise today. Karabashunda. Father, 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 thank you. My destiny helper arise. Type in that comment section. My destiny helper must arise. Hallelujah. Who is that person that has been set aside to be your mentor? Hallelujah. Humble yourself. Don't let pride overtake. Your destiny helper will arise in the name of Jesus. Father, I come against any spirit of destiny killers who want to hold us back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are destiny killers? Destiny killers are those who will want to block your dreams. Destiny killers is that friend. Let me tell you a secret that I learned this year. Even though somebody can love you and they say they're your friend, they always want to be better than you. So take it with a pinch of salt. If somebody says they love you, yes. But if you are my destiny helper, you will arise definitely today. If you are my destiny killer, I've got my eyes on you. You. Hallelujah. Destiny killers will want to block your dreams. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, they must arise today. Destiny killers will want to delay your destiny. There are people who are delayed. Anytime you are experiencing delay in your life, ask yourself, is there a destiny killer in my midst? There must be a destiny killer that is trying to th throw me off track here. Some of those destiny killers are your friends. Some of those destiny killers are even in your family. They don't like your progress. They frustrate you. They waste your effort. Be humble. Yes. They frustrate your efforts. Hallelujah. They, they, they want you to be wasted. I declare, I decree, you will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we come against any person who wants to waste our efforts, who wants to frustrate us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against destiny killers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who wants to see your negative side, that person is a destiny killer. Oh, Shakari Abasunda. My father, my father, deal with my destiny killers. Oh, Rakoshe Keti Adobasunda. Anybody who wants to see the negative side of you, you make as if you are pampering me. You make as if you want to hug me and you, you are feeling sorry for me. Stop feeling sorry for me. You are the one who's my destiny killer. Karabashonda Riyabasunda. Hey, destiny killers will always tell you your destiny is too big. Watch out for the people who, when you are revealing your dreams and your plans to them, they tell you, it's too big, you can't achieve it. Can you come back to planet Earth here? Can you just neutralize yourself? Don't make as if you are a spirit. You are not a spirit. Tell them I am a principality. God has called me for bigger dreams. They are the ones, when you are talking about taking 10 steps forward, they tell you, no, 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 crawl a little bit. No, 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 your destiny is not too big. Careful of those people that utter those statements. You will not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Destiny killers are those who have dreams of calamity about you. Why is it that you are always the one bringing dreams of calamity to me? Every single blessed day, when you are just seeing me falling in a pit, you are seeing me in accidents all the time. Okay, if God has used you to bring a prophetic warning for me, it's okay. But please, when you are always seeing calamity, calamity to the left, calamity to the right, calamity in the front of me, calamity to the back. Uh -uh. Are you my destiny killer? You want me to live in fear? Shakori Abasunda. They discourage you. Everything. Let me tell you, child of God. There is a... Oh, I'm married now. God forgive me. My husband, please. I dated somebody many years ago, more than 15 years ago. And this guy was a good guy. And do you know what my friend said? This guy is horrible. This guy will not amount to anything. And eventually this guy was so good he was just a normal person and my friend came to confess and said i was jealous of you that who do you think you are that you are going to marry a person of this stature in the community i killed your destiny do you see what i'm saying i told you i preach about me and i'm authentic but god had other plans god wanted me to marry somebody else god to god be the glory i love my husband in jesus name amen so those destiny killers will discourage you be careful what you tell your friends about the relationships you are in. Sometimes you need to shut up your mouth. 
Don't tell them everything that is going on in your relationship, especially the good things. Because sometimes you don't know whether you are in the right mix or what. You don't know whether you are mixed up with Joseph's brothers that just want, they, some people just want you to stay single. But there are other single friends that actually celebrate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. My destiny helper arise. Talk to me. Hallelujah. I hope this is helping you. Hallelujah. They are the discouragers. Destiny killers will discourage you. Destiny killers will limit you. They will mock you. When you they turn around, they mock you. They gossip about you. They weaken your faith. They tell you that this God you are serving is not going to answer you. Jesus. They tell you that your faith is useless. You are praying too much. These things, these pastors are just over themselves. They, they, they're just full of themselves. Continue. If you want to follow them, then your destiny will be dealt with. So destiny killers, children of God, are all around us, but we want to make sure that we are dealing with them so that our destiny helpers can arise and come forth. Hallelujah. They are everywhere. They are in your church. They are in your home. They are in your family. They are in your school. They are all around you in your workplace. They are there. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 7, 7, 7, it says, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceeded from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Hallelujah. There is an evil that is lurking around. Oh my God. Lorraine, I tell you, I hope this is learning. <laughs> yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, say this prayer with me. My father, my father, overturn. Let what is mine be rightfully be given to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray that prayer together. Father, let everything that is rightfully mine, that needs to be rightfully given to me, let it be mine right now in the name of Jesus. Let it be released to me in the mighty name of Jesus. I deal with every Herod that is a destiny killer in my life. He is coming down in the name of Jesus. They will not abolish the destiny of my destiny killers. My destiny, my destiny helpers will come forth. Yes, Lord, deal with my destiny killers. My destiny helpers will not be killed by Herod. The Herod in my life, go down and die in the name of Jesus. Any Herod that is frustrating your destiny helpers, he goes down today in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody that is ordained and destined to be your savior in the name of Jesus Christ, that savior will be born, that savior will manifest, that savior will manifest and maintain your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father. Deal with every Sanballat. Deal with any Tobias. Oh, Sonda. Anything that you have given me that they say is too big, it will come to pass. In the name of Jesus, I will not be discouraged. In the name of Jesus, I will build, I will succeed. I will build my house. I will build my business. Every Sanballat, every Tobiah, die in the name of Jesus. Come on, begin to pray that prayer with me. In the mighty name of Jesus, every Sanballat, Ballad, retire, die in the name of Jesus. Every destiny killer, die in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, sheke kaka soto koda, rebe shikola basoko ndani ama sonda. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father, my father my are father. you praying with me? I said, my father, my father, my father, my father. every Haman yes, yes. that has been destined has been to destined. kill my destiny, my destiny, who wants to wipe me out, wipe every Haman yes. that yes. wants to wipe my business yes. out, yes. that wants to wipe my family yes. out, yes. in the name of Jesus, yes. I have committed no offense. Yes. I don't know why they hate yes. me. I don't know why they chose to make themselves my enemy. Yes. But right now, right now Every Haman must fall. Every Haman must die. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, every Haman must die. Every destiny killer in the form of Haman, we bring you down in the name of Jesus. Type that amen well. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. Die, die, die. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says Elisha needed a, a Elijah to get the double portion of the anointing of God. So, saints of God, there is a grace that will get you to the heights that God has ordained for you. Hallelujah. There is a grace that will get you to the heights that God has ordained for you. But pride is a demon that we need to deal with. And it is a major way that you can be pulled down. So, right now, this next prayer point, what we are praying, every form of pride, every single form of pride, Father, deliver me from every pride. In the mighty name of of Jesus, declare decree that you will get a double portion anointing that will move you to your God ordained place. Begin to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Father. I declare and I decree I am getting to my ordained place. I am getting to my ordained place in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, bring the Elijahs in my life that will give me the double portion to function to function at the junction. I will function. The anointing is upon my head. It's upon my life. It is upon my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, I will not let pride to consume me. I will not let pride to bring me down. I declare and I decree that I move with humility. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The book of the law says, in, in, in the gospel of, of Mark, hallelujah, chapter 2, verse 3 to 12, it talks about a story of four friends that had to bring their, their, their friend for healing. You need such friends who are ready to go the extra mile, who are ready to do every single thing that you are believing God for. The Bible says the friends were destiny helpers, but the crowd did not allow them to enter to have access to Jesus. They were destiny killers, so the crowd wanted to stop them, and they were determined that they were going to find another way to make sure that their friend gets gets healed. Talk to me. So they, ref the crowd was refusing to them to allow to get access to, to, to get their healing. The, hallelujah. But they were helped. Hallelujah. They devised another means to make sure that their friend got healed. May God send you a helper that will make sure why by fire, by force, by any path whatsoever possible, the help is coming to you. My next prayer point I want us to, 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 to talk about. We are going to pray. Father, my father, my father, my father, let me have the right friendships. Let me have the right connections. In the name of Jesus, connections that will do anything for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare that I have friends who are bringing me to the next dimension, who will make sure I get what I need. My healing is certain in the name of Jesus. I will not take counsel from friends who are evil. In the name of Jesus, I will not let pride or arrogance take over and kill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I need to see you type that. <laughs> Is that prophecy for you? Mara official, I see you. In the name of Jesus. Father God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is your helper. I am the God that helps you. He is the chief and original helper that you need. The Lord God Almighty is the chief helper of Almighty destinies. Kariaba Sonda. The Lord God is the helper of the helpers, helpless. He will position people to help you in this season of May 2023 and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that the Lord will be the lifter of your head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that the Lord will promote you and, 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 and send people who will be your destiny helpers to promote you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Whoever is the destiny killer that is trying to demote you, God will promote you. God will raise a destiny helper to raise you to your point of promotion. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not look to your uncle, you will not look to your boss to help you, forgetting that no man can help you except they are aligned with the will of God. So, Father God, in this next prayer, we ask you to bring us destiny helpers, men and women who will be aligned with your purpose, who will be aligned with your will and purpose for our lives, who are going to make sure that we are not demoted. We will be promoted. Begin to say
prayed, my father, my father, I will be promoted. I will not be demoted. I will keep my job. I will be promoted in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for bringing people that will uplift me, who will orchestrate my promotion. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that my help comes from the Lord. Oh, my help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. The Lord is sending destiny helpers who are positioning me in the name of Jesus. You will fulfill destiny. I said you will fulfill destiny. You will fulfill destiny. The helper of God, the helpers that God is sending you, that will take you out of trouble. They will promote your destiny in the name of Jesus. Any friendship that you will enter into, that will be a friendship of destiny. Anybody who is not your true friend, may God uproot them and uproot them and obliterate them in the name of Jesus. My helper is not far from me. Come on, keep on praying with me. We declare and we decree that our helpers are not far from us in the name of Jesus. We will reach the heights that God has ordained for us. We can never fail in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Father, send me people who will lift up my hands. Send me people who will lift up my hands, who will make sure I reach the heights you have set aside for me. In the name of Jesus, any accuser of my life, any stopper of my destiny, he dies now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is no destiny. There is no destination that I will not reach as long as a God has appointed me. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray and go into these declarations as we close. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that is inside of you, child of God, Shonda, pray with zeal. Pray with Makoraba Shonda Yamasonda. The earnest expectations of a righteous man will be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Koraba Shonda Yamasonda Yamasekelevaya Sunday. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We are left with four minutes and we are signing out. I declare and I decree that the Lord God Almighty will make sure that in every area of your life, anyone that is killing your destiny, let your eyes be open to see that person today. The Lord will give you grace. Oh, the Lord will give you grace where you have missed it to make amends. The Lord will give you grace. Thank you, Francis. The Lord is giving you grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to everybody listening to the sound of my voice every destiny killers from their roots around their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. If they refuse to repent, send them to a journey of no return in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will send them to a journey of no, or no return. Whoever is in your life who is a destiny killer will either be uprooted or will be sent to a journey of no return in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that your helpers of destiny before the end of this week, they shall manifest. Before the end of this week, your destiny help us will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. May God help you to locate that helper of destiny in the name of Jesus. By the power in Jesus' mighty name, I declare and I decree that every satanic garment that has covered your parents' destiny it will not cover your own destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I wish you could shout a believing amen. I wish your amen could thunder like never before. I said every satanic government, garment that has covered your parents, that has covered anybody in your life, it will not cover you in the name of Jesus. You are covered by a, a garment of destiny helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, every single satanic government, we command you, you are a liar in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that you are removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every destiny killer, you are removed in the name of Jesus. We send fire of the Holy Ghost. Catch fire. Catch fire. Every satanic garment of destiny killers, catch fire. Fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare and we decree in the name of Jesus. Every wreck that the enemy has tried to put on us uh, and our destiny, it catches fire this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Any person, whether it is a man or a woman or a spirit being uh, that is trying to stand between our helpers and us this morning, your time is up. You are brutal out in the name of Jesus. I said your time is up. Tell your destiny killer, your time time is up. Your time is up. Every destiny killer, your time is up in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, Karabaya, we have to close. I'm left with one minute. I need to say my goodbyes. Hallelujah. We continue tomorrow. Tomorrow, I want us to come with. Tomorrow is Friday, Abby. Friday is our fasting. It is our day of fasting. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we are fasting. Tomorrow, please, if you can engage, if you don't have a medical reason why you shouldn't fast, um, please fast. That means you don't eat. If you can do 6 to 6, do 6 to 6. If you can do 6 to 10 p.m., you do 6 to 10 p.m. But 5 a.m. tomorrow, protocol breaking prayers. I want us to go deeper into the destiny killers. We are going to fire up once and for all, before the end of this week, your destiny help must come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That original destiny that God has set aside for you, it will not be hijacked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will restore back to you everything that the enemy stole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could type a believing amen and know that these declarations we are making, they are not in vain. God is able to do extremely abundantly more than you could ever ask. I don't care where you have prayed them before. I don't know whether you have prayed or, or by your own self, but believe with us, stand with us. Tomorrow is our fasting day. Friday, we are fasting. Every single Friday of this month of May, we will be fasting in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you as you are going to your workplaces, as you are going to bed or you're going, um, you know, it's your morning time or whatever it is that you are setting out to do. Receive a connection with your destiny helper today. In the next five days, Destiny helpers must just flog you, you flock you anyway, any direction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I ask you, if you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, please turn on the notification bell, especially on YouTube. We don't leave the broadcast too long on Facebook, but we do leave them on YouTube. So make sure you go and listen. Go and start on day one. Go and pray. If you are at home, you are on leave. Go and listen to every single message and pray along. We are now on day 11 today. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel, Fortune L Online. Subscribe to the channel, Takuna Mara any platform that you find us hallelujah make sure you're following those turn on the notification bell i love you so much god bless you you are released your destiny helpers are locating you in jesus mighty name thank you so much for you who are on facebook i'm very sorry about not realizing that we did not have sound at the beginning but we will see how we rectify it for you okay hallelujah even if we have to have another session for you but definitely uh, you are lifted in jesus mighty name god bless you Goodbye, Facebook. Goodbye, YouTube. I'm coming to you now.